Is this the throw that changed everything? We're gonna go into Joe Kovac's big PR from 2015 in Monaco of 2256, and we're gonna start right now. All right, so reflecting back to around 2015, um, a lot of you viewers out there were probably about 10 to 12 years old, if, if that, right? Uh, actually, man, that was so long ago. It's eight years ago now. If we go back to that point, that was 30. I remember when, when Joe hit this throw of 2256, I think Ryan Whiting had even posted on Facebook or maybe it was on Mac Throw a little discussion about he thinks this was at the time probably the, at the time, the clean world record. This was the first... 74 foot throw since Kevin Toth who had gotten popped and then if you go and look at anyone else who had thrown over 74 it would be Timmerman who by all means was on drugs Randy Barnes popped twice uh, Alessandro Andre also very likely highly highly likely on drugs so when he had hit this throw Cantwell hadn't thrown 74 feet Reese Hoffa hadn't thrown 74 feet Adam Nelson hadn't thrown 74 feet they had all thrown 73 feet so this was starting to be hey, this guy might break the world record. This guy could do it. Another thing I wanted to point out before we even get into it is looking at Joe at his size, right? And, and that was eight years ago. And if we can just reflect now, I think now he's 34. So he would have been 26 at this time. Think about how much time he's put into the weight room, how much bigger he's gotten, how much stronger he's gotten, how much more explosive he's gotten, how much better his technique has gotten. And this throw has phenomenal technique. So I just think it's it's really important for all the high schoolers and the, the collegiate throwers out there to think about the time. Think about the work ethic. Think about the effort he's put in to get to this point. And even think about Christian Cantwell was in this comp. Ryan Whiting was in this comp. Tom Walsh was in this comp. So he's opened up at 2153. He came in with a personal best of 2235. Went out with this throw at 22 meters and 56. A world I also want to point out this guy who was marking he had a couple weird marks with uh, one of Cantwell's throws. So that's, I want to just point out, that's where his shot lands, right? Like pretty much right in between those two pads. So it sort of bounces backwards. So my question is, is, is that left foot where he marked with his left foot, is that where he's going to put the, the, the stick? Because this dude, I swear, was not marking well. So I feel like Kovacs might have even thrown farther. Um, but let's look at, let's go back. You can see yeah, Whiting, Walsh. Look at the guys that are in that comp. Uh, Christian Cantwell, you know, how many world champions and, and Olympic medalists? That's just wild. 22.56 at the time was absolutely incredible. And I want to say this was Cantwell's last year competing. So I would love to in the future do a comparison of this throw uh, compared to Joe's throw this past year at the Diamond League and see what has changed, what hasn't changed. Because uh, I think he's done tr fantastic work with, with his wife. Um, and he's just gotten better and better, bigger and bigger, faster and faster. Now, look at this left foot, almost at 90 degrees when he picks up, right? That's pretty similar to what he's doing now. He gets wide here. I would really like to do that comparison. If you guys want that, let me know. I like looking at his left knee. I've talked about this in the past with him. That left knee sort of lines up right in the middle of the sector. That enables his, his right leg to get really wide. And again, his left arm here, okay, almost predicts exactly where his right leg gets to. You can see how long that, that right leg is. And that even when he opens with that left arm, that sort of controls his position uh, coming out of the back. His left arm continues to open, and then he catches that left arm. This is something I wanted to point out. I think even in Doha and in the Olympics in 2021, I think his left shoulder wrap was slightly lower, just very, very slightly lower. But his Diamond League 23 meter throw was almost identical to this with his left arm. So it's interesting to see the, the tendency. One thing I wanted to point out is that this position, I think his right is a hair longer. He sweeps and over rotates a little bit longer than he did in, uh, in Zurich this past year at, at the Diamond League. So I think his right leg is better coming down, which likely made his throw faster. But that left arm position is almost identical, okay? Then you can see his left leg sort of floats a little there. Now, where I think he's better, that left leg would be down. 
back in 2015, his left leg was still floating. That's a big difference. You know, that's 0.7 meters that we're seeing in the results. And that is stuff that we've got to think about is that he threw 22.56 and his technique kept getting better, still getting better. That's what we've got to focus on, and his strength and, and, and power keeps continuing to improve. You can see there the left is grounded. Left arm, okay, is across. That's another big factor. Think about when that left leg grounds. That's where our left arm should be, okay, and that weight is back over the right leg. You can see that right knee bend, nice flexion in that right ankle, okay. Then he squares up, okay. Squares up here, and where I think he does a better job today is he stays on that left leg longer, whereas back in 2015, you can see he's just a little bit up that right side, and that sort of, you can see on that reverse, okay, on that reverse, as the right heel comes through, rotates around. So I want to see going back to this, do we see, that's a much better shot, of course they don't play that. Okay, so let's just review this quick, because I think that's another big factor, is that when you get out to the circle today, you're going to be amped up watching 2015, and again, talking about this throw. This was the throw when people started to discuss, is Joe going to break the world record? And then Ryan came you know, this year and the following year, 2016, and it was like, who is going to break the world record? And then Darrell wins the Diamond League and goes big. Is Darrell going to break the world record? Is then Tom Walsh. Is Tom Walsh going to break the world record? Is Krauser going to break the world record? Is Joe Kovacs going to break the world record? But I believe it all started with this throw in Monaco in 2015, especially being 26, especially looking at how, how much smaller he was there. And he was still probably around 300 pounds. So I, I would bet Joe's probably put on 30 pounds since then, 30 robust pounds. But again, just looking at this, he's got that patient opening, left arm opens, left leg opens, pushes that right leg nice and wide, right leg wide, left arm's here, maybe falls in a hair with that left knee, maybe a little bit over rotated, just a little bit, but look at two, when that right foot grounds, look at that left arm wrap, that left arm wrap is almost identical to what he did this past year in Zurich. Then he's stacked on top of that right foot, left leg is sweeping to the front. I think that that's something that we've never discussed, but I think the left leg does sweep to the front. That can help make that faster. Left leg floats a little bit compared to where, where Joe is today with his technique. His left leg would be down at this point. And I think that that's where we're seeing a lot of the big gains, that he's more patient from the middle to the finish and stays on the finish a little bit longer. That thing just takes off like a rocket. 22.56 as a 26-year-old, and I wish we could just go back and be like, you know, he's going to break the world record now. He broke the old world record with this past year's throw in Zurich, and I think that looking at and reflecting back on what Ryan Krauser has done with the world record and then having two guys that broke Randy Barnes' world record, I feel confident in saying that there's been three men that have thrown 75 feet without the aid of anabolics, and that would be Ryan Krauser, number one, Joe Kovacs, number two, and then Tom Walsh at number three. And I think that that's something phenomenal. Then we bring in guys that have thrown 74 feet, and we're looking at Darlin Romani gets put in there. We're seeing these numbers really get pushed, and it's really, really exciting. What's going to happen with Josh Awatunde? What's he going to do? Is he going to be able to push up over that 2250 mark that Joe hit back in 2015? So comment down below. Was this that first throw that everybody started to talk about? Is the world record going to get broken? Now, if you guys need help with your training, head over to throwsuniversity.com. You can pick up a program or a technical analysis so that we can help you drop some bombs. Peace.